What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. We set out on quite the adventure today, but it's already off to quite a rough start. We got our Starbucks happy hour. Also, Brian, say hi. Hey, hey. <laughs> Brian's here too. We got our Starbucks happy hour, and the intention was to go to Pier 1, um, because as a lot of you guys probably know, they're going out of business. And when we were over here like two-ish weeks ago, everything was 70% off, and I've seen a ton of people posting their stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Like they bought it at a discount, and now they're trying to resell it for more, but like, I see you. So I wanted to come over here and like see if it, they still had anything, maybe for 90% off, or even if it was just fixtures. Like we really just were interested to see like what they had. And we drove around this complex like literally 50 times, only to find out Nine this. U-turns later. Yeah, literally nine U-turns later, only to find out this. They are sadly already closed. Rip to Pier 1 Imports. I thought that it might be because on Apple Maps it does say that it's permanently closed, but I only figured that out once we tried to figure out where in this complex it was, so then we decided to still try to look for it. But yeah, this one is closed. I would definitely say though, check if the ones around you are still open, because they might literally be at like 90% off. This is an area where like, people would probably come to this store literally every single day to see if stuff has gone down in price. Well, actually, honestly, this is actually a pretty like wealthy area. We are in Winter Park, Florida. If you're like local to this area, this is a super, super nice area. Um, but this is like an area where I feel like there's a lot of like stay-at-home moms and stuff like that, and they would just come and, I don't know, look at all this furniture every day. That's what I would do, so <laughs> if I was them. But yeah, so this one's already closed, but check to see if the one by you, they could be having some super awesome sales. But instead of a Pier 1 liquidation shop with me and home goods shop with me, it's just gonna be a home goods shop with me, a good old home goods shop with me. We're actually in search of many things. We are pretty much redoing like a lot of, and getting a lot of new furniture for Brian's house, getting it ready for when I move in, which will be at the beginning of 2021. And we need a lot of stuff. So we've gone to like tons of different home goods and all that stuff, trying to like find different pieces of furniture. And we haven't had any luck yet, but we're gonna go to another home goods right now and kind of shop around. And we figured that we would take you guys with us. This is a big one. They're like connected on the inside. It's a home goods Marshalls. This one's a good one. I also got a lot of home goods gift cards for my birthday, so that also is helpful. Ooh, this is nice. This is nice. I like how it's wood with the white, like, yeah, like. But it's not like too, it's not like farmhouse rustic and it's still like natural wood but with like white accents. That's pretty cute, but it's $400. I don't think that's worth it, personally. We're also on the hunt for like a new kitchen chairs and stuff. And they have a lot of these, but they're definitely not the style we're looking for. I really like this little potted fake plant. It says that it's sold as is, but we can't find absolutely anything wrong with it, and it's so cute. We're loving the aesthetic of this one end cap, especially this like wood with black. It's a candle holder. Really, really cute. Is that a Yeti dog bowl? It kind of looks like it. We really need dog bowls for Aurora and Padme because we've been using regular bowls and then it makes us short on regular bowls. So we're trying to pick some bowls. It's like a Yeti that. one. No, it kind of seems like the dog version of a Yeti. But it keeps like the water colder? Yeah, it's insulated. That's pretty cool. I think, oh, they're plastic. We think that Those these ones look like ashtrays. They're yeah. still $4. Yeah, they're still $4. I really like these ones. They have these really pretty details with a little paw on the inside. And they are $4.99. So I think I like these ones for the little dogs. Then they have these, which I liked singly, but then they sell them as a set for super cheap, $7.99. I feel like we should go with those. That's a great deal. File this under things I wasn't expecting to see today. Ray done Christmas stuff. Sets and bowls, canisters, dog food holders. So cute. Christmas cards, yay. Okay, I absolutely love these bar stools. They swivel, they're upholstered, and they have gold accents. And they have two of them, which is how many we need. They are pricey though. They're 200 bucks a piece, which is really pricey. I'm obsessed with these natural baskets. This pattern is really, really popular right now, especially in a lot of the furniture that we're looking at. These are super nice and a really good price. They have these really awesome blanket ladders for 50 bucks. They have like a couple different shades of wood and then they have white ones. These are really nice. 
I like these a lot. Huge fan. What is it? Paper towel holder. That is really cool. Matches our hardware. Yeah, I like it a lot. Ow. We geez. like the like dark brass or black with the wood. I know it's super popular right now. I also dying over this. It is a Lazy Susan like charcuterie board. It's the perfect size. We've been looking for one of these for like a few weeks now, and I think that we're gonna get it. Super good price. The color is perfect. All this Christmas stuff makes me so happy. Oh, Brian, you would like these. Those are really, really cool. And I like these. I want to get one and send them to all my sisters. And then these are really nice too. They have like gold on the rim. Love those. How fun is this for like football Sundays and stuff? Making appetizers? Oh my gosh, I love that. That'd be a great Christmas gift. I cannot wait. All this stuff is so cute. I can't wait till we have a table that I can decorate for Christmas. Yes, we need to make the table. Yeah, we just need a table first. This is so awesome for like glasses. You can put bottles, like alcohol bottles, and then wine. So nice, such a nice piece of furniture. The only problem, the price tag to go with it. <laughs> we actually just, okay, they're gonna be dizzy. We just <laughs> found this one, and it's so pretty. It is a bit messed up. My scare, I get scared with this stuff because I feel like cheese would get stuck in it. <laughs> This one's really pretty though, yeah, but it is, on? yeah, it's like super messed up because I know the people will want to see. These are cute. Is this like a new teapot? I really like the shape of that. Syrup. He, he's a Ray Dunn hater. Me? A Ray Dunn hater. Guilty. Tell the people why you don't like it. It's overplayed. Overplayed too many like she's just writing anything on anything now <laughs> Come on, and everyone has it. It's time for a new Short the next big thing. Name. Yeah, like Katie Vining. Oh, i um, my name in lights the next Come big up with thing. a good font, babe <laughs> I don't want to make glassware. Why? I don't know. What do you want to make? I don't know yet We're still figuring YouTube it out. Videos. Yeah, YouTube videos like and subscribe. <laughs> I just love all of it and all these like little plate sets for like when you put out milk and cookies with your kids I can't wait to have a baby. Oh, <laughs> These weird, creepy looking dolls. These are pretty cool. Look at her. Which parking all others will be towed. Oh, I like this. It's like the That'd skeleton hands. That's us. That's Ray Dunn too. It is. <laughs> I guess pigs are flying and the cows came home because I never thought I would see this many birdhouses when people used to literally beat each other up for them. Like, what? That's how you know, you're right, babe. It definitely is like overplayed. What? Like if that stuff's just sitting on the shelf. They should be sold out is what you're saying? Yeah, people used to literally like trample each other for those. It's just, it's everywhere and anybody can get it. I mean, there's like how many different, it's like everywhere, it's too much. Look, babe, a sand timer. I forgot what these were called once and that's what I called it. Santa. And then this really looks like the dog statue that Joey and Chandler had in Friends. It's amazing and I kind of want it. <laughs> Things are getting a little bit out of hand. Oh my god, I want it. <laughs> He's a little German guy. Look at him. I want it. <laughs> this is the cutest thing ever. That's funny. I'm obsessed. What the heck is this thing? What is it like a mug? It's like a candy thing. So you put like little caramels in it or something. Oh, that makes me uncomfy. Oh, I love that, look at that face. That's great. Make the same face. With my mask? Yeah. <laughs> we found a different one. <laughs> okay, we just got back from Home Goods, and if you hear anything in the back, it's Brian installing blinds new blinds that we got that we desperately need so if you hear that background noise like grunting or drilling oh, that's what that is you're like eh. grunting or drilling. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what that is so we're gonna go ahead and show you what we got from home goods first thing i'm gonna show you is probably my favorite thing that we got it's this tiny little gnome and he has a broom and a spell book and some bats on his head and he's really really cute we got all this stuff just to decorate around the house. Um, next year we'll have my Halloween decorations as well, but right now those are 
adorning my other house so that's where all those are but next year we'll definitely have a lot more but we got that and then we also got this little skeleton he's really cute as well they're like kind of like ceramic-y i think um but that's what these are and he's really cute his little like tombstone a crow and just like a little top hat and we just thought he was super cute so we also picked him up he was $14.99 and the gnome was $9.99 Keeping with the Halloween fall decor, we got this wooden Happy Halloween sign. We thought this was super nice, and we just decided to pick this up. It was 20 bucks, so definitely a little bit pricier, but it should last forever, hopefully. The last fall item we got is this, I don't really know, like fall poopery for this bowl that's in front of me on the counter just to make it more fall, and it's really cute. It has like little pumpkins and pine cones, and it also, smells like cinnamon so that's always a plus for the bathroom we got this little fake plant the one we have in the bathroom right now is just too big so we decided to pick up this one i'm obsessed with fake plants i know like plant mom is like the big thing right now so i'm like a fake plant mom absolutely love fake plants because you don't have to water them and they can't die and they last forever and i just think that they look really good the last three items are things that we picked up for the puppies so first we got these oatmeal wipes um we like to use these wipes for when they come in from being outside if they have like muddy paws and things like that. Brian has a fenced in backyard and the dogs are absolutely obsessed with it, but they can often get really dirty because it rains a lot in Florida and they also dig and get into things. So we got these oatmeal wipes. They've um, each been experiencing a weird rash lately. So we've been trying to do like oatmeal baths, oatmeal wipes, that sort of thing. Um, and we're also considering changing their food and it's a whole other conversation, but we picked up some oatmeal wipes to wipe their paws. Right now we have lavender ones, I think. So we decided to try a different not flavor, but like scent, I guess. We did decide to go ahead and pick up these bowls for the dogs. Cause like I said, we've been using like regular cereal bowls and then we've been short bowls. So we finally picked up some dog bowls for the little dogs and we are really excited about those. We also need to get like a mat that goes down below them because they're all super messy when they eat and they get water and food everywhere. So we also need to pick up one of those, but I just didn't see any at home goods today that I liked. So you just have to check when you go at different times cause they always have different stuff. I lied, there's one more item that is not for the dogs, but there is another item for the dogs, but there's also something else that we got that's not for the dogs, and this is one of the things I'm most excited about. As you saw in the store, we found this Lazy Susan charcuterie board. We've been looking for one of these everywhere, and we've found a lot, but not one that we have like truly loved, and Home Goods has good prices for sure. It's 100% wood, it's super nice, and it was only $24.99, so we're really excited about this. We're obsessed with like charcuterie boards and all this stuff. Whenever we go to the store, we're like, oh, we can put this on a charcuterie board. Just get, always getting ideas for like future like holiday parties or things like that um, when it is safe to do that. And then the very last thing, the camera's actually sitting on it, so I'm gonna have to take you off and show you. This is one thing I think Brian's the most excited about this but it is a dog food container and it's really, really a cute one. Really, really a cute one. And the wood on top actually perfectly matches the wood from our Lazy Susan. It has this really nice metal dog bone on top and it's just a really nice shade of wood and it's like a metal bucket and it says good dog on it. You could always decide to turn it around if you don't want to see the plaque on it, but this is really cute and we decided to pick this up as well. But that is it guys, that is everything we got from Home Goods. I hope you guys enjoyed the Shop With Me video. If you like Shop With Me videos and you want to see more, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. And also go ahead and leave me a video suggestion down below of things that you guys would want to see. I'm trying to pre-plan tons of different videos that I can do and I'm making a list on my phone. So if you guys have any ideas, definitely feel free to leave me a comment with your suggestions down below. But don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button and i will see you next time bye guys